What is going on, guys? So some news for the Philadelphia Eagles updates. I understand that we are waiting until July 26th till training camp, and we have more uh, news coming. So uh, let's talk about it all right now. What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shake72 coming to you guys with a video right now. So I have some updates for the Philadelphia Eagles while we're waiting and setting for Eagles training camp July 26. Okay, now um, some news out the gate here. So now Devon Allen. If you guys don't know who Devon Allen is, he is a pretty much an Oregon player. Uh, he hasn't played since 2016. He's never played an NFL snap at all. He went to the Olympics. He is actually an Olympic hurdler. Um and never played NFL snap. So we signed him to a three-year deal, which I thought it was kind of weird. He has 4-3 speed. Um, he is a speedster, guy. So I see him on punt returns. I see him on kick returns. Um, I think him and Britton Covey are definitely going to be uh, in competition. Um, you know, there were some funny things going on with him. John Clark did interview him and talked about, you know, uh, he, he calls himself the fast, the most, the fastest eagle um, on this team. He is the fastest out of every player that's on this team. Um, and you know, I, him and big place lay, I guess we're going to have a race for $10,000 that uh, he'll race anybody. And he calls himself the fastest Eagle, which is great. So, but unfortunately what kicked into this was he ended up getting the virus and he was out all of OTAs, which was a big bummer because uh, did it, does it affect him? It kind of does just a little bit. I wouldn't say that much. You know what I mean? Um, they're not going 100% yet, but at least to, you know, have him in and, and you know, just, you know, be there with the team and get some snaps and, you know, stuff like that. So if you guys remember, we, we did get him after Oregon had their pro day and, and we ended up signing him immediately because he was he was already he was just trying out. again. He was come back from the Olympics and he was just trying out for, you know, he was going to the pro day to see if any NFL teams would pick him up. And the Eagles did. It was a three year deal. So it was very cheap. Um, but he ended up getting the virus. He missed all of OTAs, and it was a big bummer. So um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Giving him a three-year deal, it kind of – did it make a promise that he's going to be here? Do they think that he's already, that they already have plans for him ahead of everybody else? I mean, we'll find out. He already missed OTAs because of the virus. So um, he's missed some a little bit of value time as of right now. So we'll see what happens with that um, when the time comes. Secondly, okay, Robbie Anderson from the Panthers. There are a lot of rumors right now that he is retiring um, from the NFL, and um, he has contemplated on retirement. Now, Robbie Anderson did, did get a new deal in 2021 last year, a two-year extension for $29.5 million, okay? Um, so when I go into all this, I could say, Hey, you know what? You know, the Panthers are going to be down a receiver and, and, you know, some speed or whatnot. Is this another trade designation for Jalen Rager for the Eagles to just deal him and just get this thing over with? I mean, I understand Rager has been through a lot, uh, with Jeff Gladney and passing away it has affected him. Uh, Rager, I don't think was at OTAs at all and has missed some valuable time, but I can't really blame him. I don't know what the plans are for him, regardless of what's happening to him personally. I don't know if they're trying to trade him or is there, are there offers, but they're taking their time with it. Is it not the right time right now? Uh, maybe they're not doing it just for his sake. Maybe they're like, uh, you know, are you ready to get traded? And he's probably like, you know, let's wait a little bit longer, you know, and we can get a trade done or I don't know. Maybe I don't know what the case is, but this is definitely another trade designation for Jalen Rager. Just just because at this point, guys, like there's a lot of receivers in the building. Like, I feel like it's going to happen. I feel like right before training camp, he will get traded. I feel like it, it's just I just I just had that gut feeling. I feel pretty positive about it, too. Um because they brought in so much competition to, you know, have A.J. Brown, Quez Watkins, Zach Paschal, and, and many others. You know, Josh Hammond, even guys on practice squad or depth guys, Greg Ward, um, you know, Weedfall. You know, there's, there's a lot of receivers we have now. And um, I just feel like there, there's just, it must be with Britton Covey and, and having Devon Allen in the building for special teams. I, I just, I think they're trying to, I think they're trying to get some, a deal done for Jalen Rager just to, you know, have a new change of scenery and just, and just get him out of here. You know what I mean? Like, maybe that's what he needs. Maybe, um, you know, maybe there's just been too much damage with him. And, and maybe mentally he's just, you know, some some players just need to leave teams because of, you know, just having that mental, that mental uh, break, you know, that mental break that they need. And, you know, he's had a mental uh, stint where he's just, I feel like it's taking over everything. 
um, that he's, you know, done throughout college and going through six different quarterbacks and then getting drafted by the Eagles. And, you know, I feel like the more mistakes he makes, the, the, the you know, the worse he plays. And that's just a big problem. Um, so that's the news on Robbie Anderson, and that's just speculation. There's no report of the Eagle, of the Eagles trading him, but you know the, the Panthers have been interested, you know, before. You know, I mean, obviously they have um, Matt Corral now at quarterback. We've heard, you know, Minshew was supposed to be traded last year. Yet yeah, that that the Panthers offered a second to a third round pick. Howie Roseman uh, before the trade deadline last year did not pull the trigger on that either. So this could be, you know, this could definitely be something that we could look at and say it could happen. If Robbie Anderson does retire, Jalen Rager could become a, a Carolina Panther. So we'll, we'll find out. Um, and lastly, Jalen hurts. Okay. This is the, the biggest news of the day. Okay. Um, I don't know how much he's gained weight, but let me tell you, man, this guy looks ripped. He looks fantastic. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I feel like Jalen Hurts has done all he possibly could this offseason, um, and there's still a lot more of this offseason to come, especially with training camp coming up. The Eagles have no mini camp because OTAs is officially over as of a few days ago. Um, and I, you know, I, as long as he doesn't lose any explosiveness when he's running with the football in his hands or he's not any slower, I, I think he's going to do fine. Um, I don't know what his weight was before. I, I should have checked that before I did this video, but if you guys let me know in the comment section below about his weight and how much you guys think he gained, I mean, you see the difference. I mean, his arms are bigger, um, his upper body's a lot bigger. Uh, you know what I mean? So I think this, I think he's definitely increased his size. Pause, but you know what I mean, um, which is a great thing. You know, Jalen Hurts uh, working with multiple quarterback gurus over four to five to six quarterback coaches and you know Tom House and Quincy Avery even you know rumors about him throwing with Tom Brady like doing everything he possibly can um you know I I can't I can't go into this and say you know he's not putting in the effort because the effort is there you know this effort just has to match his play okay I got a lot of Got a lot of comments on the last video I did, you know, talking if I speak something bad about Jalen Rager, it doesn't mean I'm not going to support him because I want him to be the franchise quarterback. There's nothing more that I want for him to be this franchise quarterback. I'm telling you, I, I hope it happens. I hope he works out. And trust me, I will be on his side. But he's only played a year and a half of football. I mean, I, I talk about this almost every day. I think about this every day because this, this position concerns me and it has concerned me. Like there is really no excuse, you know, and obviously it's not just him. It's, it's Nick Sirianni. It's Shane Steichen, the offensive coordinator. Can he play design? These guys get these guys open and actually play design to the point where you're giving the ball to the right guy. Because last year was a total disgrace of, how they were treating these wide receivers last year. Rager was treated like a number one. Wes Watkins, you know, just a lot of missed opportunity because, you know, he missed, you know, Jalen Hurts missed a lot of targets last year wide open. And Devontae Smith was treated like a third, a number three wide receiver. I mean, that's how bad it was last year. So there's no excuse for Jalen Hurts. I mean, this is the year. Unfortunately, he's going to his third year playing a year and a half of football. And, you know what I mean? It's just. Can he be a pocket passer? You know, can he be more patient and not run too early? You know what I mean? Anticipation on through. You know, this is what I'm going to be looking for. You don't need statistics for it. You just got to look at it and say, he definitely got better. You know, from what we're hearing from Nick, Shane Steichen, the rest of the offensive coaching staff, that Hurts has taken a big step forward. But I'm not going to take OTAs and be like, you know, he went 25 for 20. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not going to say he, you know, he threw five to seven touchdowns in OTAs. He looks great against our own guys. Like, I got to see when Miami comes into town. I need to see when when the Eagles use Jalen Hurts during preseason. How are they going to? And then this is how what I feel they're going to do. I feel like they're not going to play him at all in preseason. He's going to go into that first game very rusty. That's how I feel is going to happen. Okay, if it was up to me for preseason, the first game I have been for a couple series, second game, treat it like the dress rehearsal game for at least put him in for a half. I mean, at least do that. And then for the third game, just rest him. Because you guys remember, we only have three preseason games now, which did start last year. No more four, which I'm actually happy. I actually like the three preseason games because then it got, gives the guys some extra rest. God forbid there's some little, you know, little injuries or, you know, Little things aren't going to make a big difference uh, injury-wise. So, you know, I, I like this. I mean, uh, this is good. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm I'm really excited, and uh, I can't wait to see Jalen Hurts play, I, and I hope he does well. But definitely from here, with what we're seeing right now, uh, he's definitely uh, gotten a lot bigger. 
Um, you know, his, his, his chest. I mean, you could you could already tell. I understand he's he's wearing pads on the bottom and on the top picture from last year. He's wearing no pads. I know maybe it looks like that, but you could definitely tell um, that he he's he apparently he's moving a lot better. He's throwing to the running backs a lot better. Uh, just just the where he's slinging the ball is is great. I mean, it, I mean, I think he had one incompletion. I think one or two, maybe uh, all of OTAs, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Not like Deshaun Watson that's throwing pick after pick after pick after pick. But I think it's more of a a mental thing that's going on over there with all the problems. Not to get into all that stuff. Uh, but other than that, guy, that's pretty much it. That's my update on the Philadelphia Eagles. Jalen Hurts. How do you think? How much weight do you think he has gained? Um, and do you think it's going to do him any better? Um, you know, I don't think they're going to put him in the Carson Wentz route because we don't know, you know, during that year in 2020 where they, you know, made him gain weight and blah, blah, blah. And they tried to put him into an RPO system. And, you know, he was, you know, we all know Carson Wentz was better on the outside. I mean, I think they definitely handicapped him and want to turn him into something else that he couldn't turn into. Um, but I don't think they're doing that with Hurts because they're definitely going to have the ball in his hands, you know, because Jalen Hurts, what's, what's makes the, he is what makes the run game perfect. Okay, because the teams have to respect Jalen Hurts, but teams have to respect these running backs and respect these, you know, these receivers. You know what I mean? They have to respect everybody now. With Dallas Goddard, Quez Watkins, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith. There's a two. There's way too much. Um, teams are going to have their hands full with this offense, and uh, very excited. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Chicks, what up? Falls live. Peace out, guys. Peace.